See if you can guess today's theme with the help of some cryptic clues. It can be fast... <laughs> ..and occasionally unpredictable... <laughs> ..but it's very useful for flying. <laughs> the answer, of course, is thrust, a force used to propel objects often through the air. You can get thrust through one of three ways, a release of high pressure, a mechanical acceleration of surrounding mass, or by using a chemical reaction. For example, as vinegar and baking soda react together in this bottle, gas is produced, building pressure, until the cork pops and fluid is forced out at high speed. This generates a reaction force in the opposite direction, pushing the bottle skywards. And it's the amount of fluid flowing through the bottleneck and its acceleration that determines just how much thrust you get. Thrust works thanks to Newton's second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration, and his third law of motion, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. OK, class, time for a test. First question. Can you remember the three ways thrust can be produced? Well, there's chemical reactions like solid fuel burning in a firework... ..and now burning on next door's carpet. There's also pressure, like in this bottle rocket. Oh, maybe it's broken. No, it still works. And finally, by mechanically accelerating a mass. In this case... ..to about 25 miles an hour. The beauty of thrust is that it works in mid-air, all thanks to Newton's third law. And question two is, can you remember what that is? It's action and... Um... Reaction. Yes. In this case, water expelled from the pressurised container is the action. Container firing in the other direction is the equal and opposite reaction. Oh <laughs> Isn't thrust fun? And finally, according to Newton's second law, mass times acceleration equals force. But what does that mean in terms of thrust? Well, it's one of the reasons this shuttle has such huge fuel tanks. Stand back, boys. We're off to outer space. <laughs> that was a bad example. <laughs> You see, the bigger the mass of the exhaust gas and the more it accelerates on the way out, the more thrust you get. But since the big tanks didn't fire, even the tiny mass of the shuttle was just too much to boldly go... ..well, anywhere. Never mind, chaps. Space is boring, anyway. So, that's your lesson on thrust. Listen to Newton and you'll nail it. But you might get a bill from the neighbours.